It's finally happening. AI is starting to become more collaborative. It's no longer something that just lives on the sidebar of every single application you open up where you can chat with it and just hope you get something you can copy and paste into your actual document. No, AI is starting to feel a lot like a personal assistant, a real employee that's living on the other side of the screen. I'm gonna show you one such case in this video today as Softer has announced a brand new AI agents feature that I am super excited about. Softer is a longtime sponsor of this channel, and I'm happy to have them back. If you're not familiar with Softer, essentially it's a tool that lets you create no-code apps for your business. You can start from scratch, but they've got a library of great templates here just to give you an idea of things you could build, a client portal, a CRM. Do you ever notice how it's very difficult to take an off-the-shelf CRM and get it to work well for your business? A tool like Softer lets you customize things without being a developer and really get the CRM that you need to best fill out your sales pipeline. Now, just last June, Softer added in their own database platform, so you didn't need to rely on third-party tools to store your data. Now, they've added AI agents that let you enrich the data that's stored in your database. Now, for a no-code platform, honestly, that feels a little bit technical to explain. So rather than talk anymore, let me just show you what is going on here. What I did is, just for a simple example, I created a form and I used their template, the project request form. I'm thinking of someone like myself or other service providers providers that we have like a proposal request form on our website. So I grabbed this template. So here it is. This is the form that I'm working with here and I can click on the form and we can see all of the logic. There's a lot of questions in this form, but there's a lot of conditional logic as well. So if you're filling out the form, it actually goes pretty quick. But the idea here is to qualify a lead, right? I want someone to go through this form and then on the other end, I'll review the submission to find out if we're a good fit to serve their needs. Now that's all fine and dandy until your business starts to grow and you're getting a lot of leads every single day. You might need someone to spend several hours going through form submissions and that's just not a good use of anyone's time, especially when we have AI agents to do it for us. So let's just go through the form once together and then I'll show you the agents on the back end that are going to qualify leads, help me find the best opportunities, and even write a pre-drafted email and assign that lead to a team member. This is amazing. Let me show you everything. I built here. So we'll just go ahead and fill this out. And it looks like Jeff is wanting to hire us for maybe how about some marketing help here. We're going to be doing uh, some emailing for Jeff and his target audience is going to be everyone. On the next page here, we're just looking at a deadline and a budget. So let's set the deadline for, I don't know, how about January 15th of next year and the budget will be $3 million. And then the final screen here is just a text field where you can write a little bit about the project description and even upload a PDF that the AI agent can analyze for us. I will get to that in a moment, but first let me just write a brief project description. All right, no attachment for this particular form. I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. It's been submitted, so let's go ahead and check out the results over in the database. So previously I showed you the interface where you can actually see what the front end will look like and you can modify this to suit your needs. But one tab over is the data tab, and this is where we can actually see the form submissions that have come in. Now, Jeff Bezos is at the bottom. We can go ahead and review this here in a moment. I just want to point out that reviewing your form fills in a database, probably not the most attractive thing, but we're only going to do this for setting up our AI agents. You could obviously view the form fills in other places as well. So let's see. We've got Jeff over here. He needs some marketing help, right? We can see all of the submissions coming in. So each one of these columns aligns with one of the fields in our form. Not every field is going to be filled in because like I said before, it's conditional logic built into the form. So scrolling to the end of this table here, all of our columns so far match up to the form fields until we get to the very end. And now we've got the lead validation check. This is where we're using AI to go out and validate that the form that just come in is actually a valid lead. After that, I do a quick communication check to find out if they're going to be someone I actually want to work with? Do they have belligerent language? Are they very difficult and demanding? Well, I might just stop things right there. After that, I've got a series of other agents that I set up because I'm probably a little overzealous testing out this new feature, but we're going to go through and check out the project complexity, the budget feasibility. Are their expectations aligned with reality in terms of how much stuff costs? Same thing with the timeline. And then at the end, we'll give them an overall quality score, set them to be either a core 
cold, warm, or hot lead, and then assign them to an actual team member while also drafting an email. Now, the AI is still working here. I should have an email in a moment. It can't write the email until the priority level has been set. All right, there we go. The entire lead scoring process is complete. Let me walk you through this in a bit more detail. So the first agent that we ran into was the lead validation check. This is a very simple check to just weed out any scammers or tire kickers, basically anyone that doesn't really exist. Let's open up this field. It's a lot like any other column that you'll see in a database, except it has AI power. So you can see here, AI agent is enabled. AI can edit this field. It can auto fill this field. Now I can also make manual edits. Like let's say I go in and I override the decision. I could definitely do that that, but for now, everything is working flawlessly. Even though this is an AI agent field, it also has a data type. So I've set this one to be a select field, meaning that I've got some options to choose from. Just two here, valid or invalid. For the model, I chose Claude 4.5 Sonnet because it is very cost effective, but you could also choose GPT-5 if you prefer and don't mind spending a few more credits. All of the models from OpenAI and Anthropic are here, but it is limited to those two providers. And then I have a prompt just asking it to go out on the web and validate that the information that's provided is truly a real business and not a tire kicker. So we've turned on allow web search and you might notice here that I've added in a few references. So we've got the full name, the email address, as well as the project name. It's very easy to add that data from the form into your actual prompt. Just hit the at symbol and then a list comes up of the fields and you can choose whatever one is relevant to your prompt. There's also a symbol down here if you forget that key command so you can choose whatever you want to reference inside of your prompt. So basically my prompt says take this information and then check if it has an existing presence and after that classify the lead as either valid or invalid and it runs automatically every time a new record is created or in this case I even left it on if a record is updated but you can obviously tailor this to be whatever you need. Now you can also set up filters so that agents only run if certain requirements are met. So for example on this third entry here, I set up a scammer type of submission. And if you look at any of the other fields, I edit them here. If we go down to run when and check out the filters here, I'm going to look at the communication check and it says communication is proceed. So that's right here. If it says proceed, it will actually run the agent. Otherwise it will not fill out the field. Obviously this one said red flag. So there is no project complexity score. If you remember at the end of the form, there was an opportunity to attach a PDF. That's a really good indicator that someone is genuine if they're gonna upload their project requirements inside of a PDF. It means they're probably seeking other agencies and trying to get bids. So I've got the uh, attach files column over here. You can see that I've only got one filled out and if it doesn't actually have a, an attachment, it's just gonna write NA for not available or not applicable in the field. But this one did, so let's Let's check out how I configured this. We'll edit the field and you can see with my prompt, I said, if no files attached, output NA or else continue. And then I said to analyze the attached document and extract the following key information based on the project context. So the attached file is there, which is basically just referencing that field. And then I went ahead and asked it to summarize the document. Sometimes these documents can be very, very long. So give me the actual requirements, the technical details, the budget clues, timeline clues, complexity indicators. So it's going to go ahead and analyze all of that. And then it's going to create a document that looks like this. We can expand the actual output. So it takes a you know, four or five page document and basically puts it into a bullet list that I can easily glance at. Better yet, I can use this analysis on future agents to help me score the lead even more accurately. So essentially for these next three fields here, the project complexity, the budget feasibility, and the timeline realism, I'm calculating a score that all goes in to calculate the lead quality score, which basically decides whether or not I follow up with this lead. So based on the lead quality score, they're given a classification as either hot, warm, cold, or unqualified, and that will decide exactly how they're followed up with. Now, if you ever run into trouble, there's actually AI built in to help AI do its job better. So I'm going to edit this lead status field here, and you'll notice right below the prompt, it says improve my prompt. 
So if you click on this, it's going to run the AI, start analyzing your prompt, and then improve it for you. It'll allow you to reject or modify the changes before they are accepted if you want. I just noticed that all of my lead statuses always said budget restraints or budget issues. So I can refill this in now that I've improved the prompt and hopefully it gives me some other options. So let's go ahead and run this. All right, we are already seeing some better results. Okay, so this might seem like a lot, but just imagine you're going to jump on a call with one of these leads. You can quickly look at a dashboard that you build out using this data and see, oh, well, they've got some timeline issues. I know I need to keep that top of mind when I go onto the call, or maybe their budgets are not aligned with what reality is, and you know you need to address that head on. This can be a major time saver, but also help you prepare with absolute lightning speed. So that is the new database AI agents feature from Softer. It's been a ton of fun getting my hands on this and just imagining all of the possibilities. Now, I focused on leads here, but really you can let your imagination run wild and make your business run more efficiently. It is a truly exciting time to be on the cutting edge of AI, and I hope that you spend some time playing around with this as well. Getting started with Softer is completely free, by the way, and you get 500 AI credits to get started. So really, there's no reason not to dive in. You can check my link down in the description. And thanks again to Softer for sponsoring today's video.